And finally, new rule. Someone has to tell me how summer, the time of year when we traditionally give our brains a rest, can retain its specialness if stupid season now runs all year round. <laughs> How can you feel good about earning a vacation for your mind if we've retired from the job of thinking altogether? <laughs> you know, it used to be that you worked hard and behaved responsibly for most of the year, and then when June came, school's out, brain's out, no reading except for trashy novels on the beach, no studying, no thinking, no dress code, the movies were all stupid, it was great. <laughs> because you'd earned it. Even if you got a summer job, it was a weird gig you did for a few months, or as it's now called, a job. <laughs> no, we have now ruined summer because America insists on being peak stupid at all times. <laughs> Our president is Donald Trump. He's on vacation all the time. Everything he does is trivial. How is my guilty pleasure time of year supposed to outdo that? <laughs> How can you enjoy casual Fridays when everyone already dresses like shit all the time? <laughs> Flip-flops used to be a summer thing. Now they're a year-round disgusting thing. <laughs> It's not special to wear a swimsuit all day when your everyday pants have an elastic waistband. <laughs> I, <laughs> I saw a guy at a funeral in February wearing cargo shorts and a who-farted T-shirt. <laughs> May he rest in peace. <laughs> I mean, time was that even casual conversations in the summer adhered to an unwritten code. Keep it stupid. It's summer. We earned this. Don't be an asshole and start talking about serious stuff. Keep it to, is it hot enough for you? When do you think the ice cream truck is coming back? <laughs> and what's the best way to get sand out of your ass? <laughs> And speaking of sand in your ass, who can forget summer romances? <laughs> All of us, that's who, because that was the point of a summer romance. <laughs> what happens in August stays in August. <laughs> it was sudden, exciting, and brief, but now with apps like Tinder for straight people and Grindr for Republicans. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. And the songs that you made love to in the summer, summer songs, they're just different. You can do the moody stuff in the winter, but summer, you had to keep it light. Do, 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 da, 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 stuff like that. <laughs> The deepest a summer lyric ever got was, I like big butts and I cannot lie. <laughs> but now, all year round, half the songs have no lyrics. It's just noises people make during sex and odes to the booty. <laughs> and the situation with movies is even worse. You know, we used to keep the sequels and the superhero bullshit confined to the summer. That was the deal. That, no, really. And then when September came, the serious movies came out. Films. <laughs> and we accepted that. We'd had our fun with robots and car crashes, and then in the fall, we knew it was time to go see the one where Meryl Streep teaches gay Holocaust survivors how to box. <laughs> But now, all year long is robots and talking raccoons. Because I'm telling you, we are at maximum stupid. We don't read. It's one thing to take the summer off from heavy stuff and just bring to the beach utter nonsense like romance novels and whodunits and Scientology. <laughs> but... <laughs> 
At least it was a book of some kind. Now educated people spend their spare time on the phone matching pretty colors in order to break imaginary candy. <laughs> You know, before the internet, the only escape from work was a summer vacation. But now, escaping from work? It's as easy as closing the office door and typing the words pornhub.com. <laughs> <laughs> so I don't know how this happened, or when exactly, this stupidifying of the whole year. Maybe it was the advent of Fox News. Maybe it was when we made stars out of the Kardashians. Maybe it was the day John McCain decided to let an ill-advised summer fling with a ditzy moron last all the way into November. <laughs> Whatever it was, we have got to get summer back. We've got to be able to enjoy stupidity again. Hard-earned, respectable stupidity. That's what my goal is in the age of Trump.